Hi, it's the 7th of February, Sunday the 7th of February. Um, I did a little video, I'm sure this is the uh, next bit on from the little video that I've been doing. Um, I've been up at the Polytunnel this afternoon. Um, you can barely see me, I'm going to put the, my solar light on. Um, because I haven't put it on yet and it, when it comes on it's quite bright. Look at the hat. See, it's quite bright for a while, um, for the first 20 minutes. I'm just going to bring you along to have a little quick chat. There we go, look, I've got my hoodie up, so it's a bit chilly in here. Um, although I've got the fire going and it's actually burning, look. See, um, I've got my log pile, um, you know, burning my silver birch from Friday. Um, I've got my little radio there. It's 9 degrees in here, 9.2 now. Um, that's with the fire going. Um, I've been up in the polytunnel. Um, I've been pruning and tidying up the strawberry plants. Um, and I've been potting up my Escalonia plants out of my raised beds from outside. Um, and I'm just having my fire. I haven't had a beer tonight. I don't have one every night. But uh, um, I quite like one occasion. I had one last night, Saturday night. So I had a alcoholic ginger beer. Um, there you go. As I say, in the shed, got the sparkly lights up above going. You can't really see them now. I put the. If I turn this off, you can either have one or the other. You can't have both. That's just not right. But there we go. Look. Now, can we see these sparkly lights? Oh, barely. Look. Anyway, sparkly lights, um, flashy sparkly lights, or solar panels, solar little light. Um, I have got my new solar light that's in here. Um, Turn this on. Look, see, it's quite dark in here, but look at that. I mean, that's blinding. That you can see all the way down there. Look, that's my scruffy polytunnel uh, with my barbecue, which I brought in out the cold and out the rain. Um, this one's got a sensor on, so I can turn it on and off. But I, I, I judge light, solar lights by whether you can see the floor or not. And you can see the floor in here. Absolutely fantastic. It's so blindingly bright. It makes me scrunch my face and look, oh, the light's gone back on. Hang on now. Let's turn it off. There we go, it's off. So yeah, um, been in the polytunnel, been doing the strawberries, been potting up my Escalonia plants. Um, I've got a load of uh, seeds at home. I've taken a bag of compost home um, and I've got some seed trays. So I'm going to plant up some lettuce and some other different uh, salads to put into the system. Um, as I was saying before, um, I've asked the farmer if I could put power on in the field and he's agreed that I can. Um, I've got to obviously try and sort of do all that myself. So I'm going to try and do that and then the solar panels that I've got I'll put back into the grid um, to pay for the bill that I'll be having, I guess, up and coming bill. Um, I've got my phone back in its case and, and it's still working alright, that's good. Um, but it does keep going off. I think it's because it's got a, 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 a magnet on it and it keeps on sort of turning it off. just wanted to show you the, the fire with that um, silver birch, uh, silver birch bark. Uh, like I said, I've been watching all these survival programs and they say use silver birch bark to light f fires with or whatever or to catch with a, a spark. Uh, and they're right. Um, it lit it and it's been roaring away ever since. Um, that's my fire going. So I'll just open the door, put another log in, perhaps put a bigger log in. Um, I'm trying to do this one handed. I might have a little fart came out then. Jeez, mate. Oh. Um, can't get me. Things, when you do things one handed, very awkward. Look at that. Just starting to take off on the other side. Put a couple of these in there. Put a bit like that in. And a bit like this. There we go. And yeah, it's roaring. And it is toasty. I do I really like this. It's nice. I remember when I was little, I used to go to my grandma's and uh, she used to do toast on the fire. And um, oh, it was fantastic. I don't know why toast seems so much better when your grand does it on a fire. She had like a little fork, and you just put your little fork up there and toast your toast and hot butter toast in the morning. And she used to she taught me how to do a fire where you 
get your newspaper and you roll it up and then you tie it into a knot and you put that in first and that makes up your, your bed for putting your fire on and then you put your kindling on. Ran used to have a coal fire. She, if it wasn't going, she'd either put a newspaper over the, the front of it to um, draw the, the airflow up the chimney or she'd put a cup of sugar on it and that would get it roaring. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. There's my fire going. I just thought I'd show you. It's lovely. When the door's open. It's actually 10.3 in here now. Got it up to 20, 20, 21 degrees last night. Um, just thought I'd show you what's going on in here. Um, and I hope everyone's well. Uh, take care. Nice one. Cheers.